Hello, my name is Petter and I'm a VR developer at RISE, Research Institutes of Sweden. Together with CEA, Glitchy and Jiproc, we have developed a virtual reality training application for industrial personnel. What you're seeing in front of you is the HandCode project funded by EIT Digital. Think of it as a flight simulator for factory workers. I'm Jacob from Glitchy and we specialize on enabling hand movement and interaction in virtual reality. And we originally come from uh, eight years of robotics research uh, focused on enabling artificial hand movement. And it's this technology that enables industry staff in the HandCode project to be able to learn how to operate the machine by using their hands just as they would in real life. because all together we can be complementary in terms of technology to provide a tool to be able to train people inside the industry virtually without them to use real materials. Meaning it's uh, no wasting of money, no wasting of time and making people work into a safe environment before they get ready to go to the manufacturing. It's expensive to train new factory workers today with all the knowledge that needs to be transferred. We shorten or completely eliminate that training time on the factory floor by providing a virtual playground for them to learn, try, fail, try again and succeed. This way anyone can gain experience without exposing themselves or the factory to any risky mistakes. With the startup company Glitchy on board, we were able to create environments where you can train on virtual machines as if they were real. Buttons can be pressed and objects can be grasped. And CEA provided some pretty awesome virtual dynamic objects that took the simulation to a whole new level. So the innovation activity concept inside EIT Digital is gathering people from Europe with complementary competencies in terms of technological research, innovation and transfer for the industry. So we do provide new technologies for people to be able to work safely and more comfortably inside an industry. And the innovation activity itself is about providing an idea providing a tool within a year of work that is supported by EIT Digital. It's, it's a great project because we've met, uh, thanks to EIT Digital actually, I met the Glitchy startup first, who had won the contest of EIT Challenge, EIT Digital Challenge for startups. I saw him make, making a speech about virtual reality, so I went talk to him and I told him that we were doing virtual reality too and we realized how complementary we were because we were focusing on the body, he was focusing on the hands. So with Glitchy we decided to maybe do something together inside EIT Digital. And then uh, he put us in contact with SIX, the research center, who was already working on a use case that needed some more virtual reality applications. And we discussed, we exchanged emails, phone calls, we visited each other, and that's how the idea was born. Then we presented the idea to EIT Digital, and EIT Digital was uh, glad to be able to support us. So all the different solutions and components were built to be reused to enable more efficient implementations for future customers. This way, we aim to provide industry companies of all different sizes with virtual reality based training as an easy to implement service. So we already started implementing this technology with a Swedish manufacturing company and we're now finding more customers in the industry sector that wants to increase competence among their employees.